Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial series using Flix, primarily focusing on the story side. So going through how to use Flix with sketching tools, including Photoshop and Storyboard Pro. In this first episode, we'll create and set a project. In a studio setting, creating and setting projects might be something that a production coordinator or lead artist would do as an admin. So what is Flix? Flix has two sides to it. There's the Flix client application, which you can see here, which is what you'll be using to create your panels with your sketching app. The Flix server is what will be storing all of your panels and the Flix client will communicate with the server application. Once you have Flix installed and you've launched it, you'll see this interface. The first thing to do is to specify the host name to connect to the server. Next, enter your credentials, and depending on how your account was set up, you'll either log in by entering your username and password or using a Google email address. The next page is where you'll find all the shows associated with this host name. As you can see, I already have a project on mine. Let's create a new show. Click on New Show and a window will appear. The tracking code is a short code associated with this entire show. This name will be used when exporting files and publishing shows, so you'll want to keep it short. Next, specify your show's title. I'm going to call this one Our Little Seedlings because the story is about plants. And you can choose an image. If you assign an image, this will appear on the show's thumbnail. Next, set your frame rate, aspect ratio, and choose whether it's an episodic project. If it is, select this option under Episodic. With that selected, another option will appear and you can set the season number. Next, set the permissions of this project, which is which groups will have access to it. We'll look at creating groups in the next episode. Since we don't have any customized groups, I'll set this to default. Finally, select Create. We can now see our show. If you want to specify an order, you can start a show and it'll be displayed first. The Show Hidden option will display any hidden shows. You can hide a show by selecting this three dot menu and select hide. And you might want to hide a show if you finished working on it and would like to remove it from your list of shows. You can always retrieve it by selecting show hidden. As you hover over the show, information on your show will be displayed. Let's go into this new show. First, you'll be prompted to create a new episode. This will also have a tracking code, which is a short, unique name that'll go into your file's naming conventions. You can then specify your episode's title, episode number, and comment. As a comment, you can either describe the episode or write notes associated with this episode. It's entirely your choice. Once done, you can either create more episodes or close the window. We are now one level below our show. Go into this episode and you'll be prompted to create a sequence. Again, this will have a tracking code, which I'll call 0010, but again, you're not obliged to name it according to numeric values. Specify a title, an act, and it's up to you what you choose as a comment. It can either be a description or an instruction. I'll use this to indicate that it's ready for story. We've now created a sequence revision and this sits below the episodes level. We are now ready to create a revision. Revisions will enable you to access previous versions or iterations of your sequence. Right now we don't have a revision, so if you're using Storyboard Pro, you can select Storyboard Pro Import, but in these first few videos, we'll be using Photoshop, so we'll create a clean version. You can create a blank panel by selecting this icon. Once the change has been made, you can select the Save option. Write a comment if you choose to and hit enter to create a new iteration. Go back up a level by selecting sequence. We can now see the iteration we've just made. We've now set up a new show. In the next episode, we'll go over how to create or edit a user and then we'll see how to set preferences at a studio and show level.